My name is Justin Roby. I'm the host of Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building, tech news, tech deals, and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, what is happening today? That is the question. Well, uh, first and foremost, we are building an all red and black PC, which I'm pretty stoked about. Uh, this is in the H710 and using the absolutely awesome and amazing uh, For the Win 3 Ultra from EVGA. So pretty stoked about that. This is Aussie Pete's build. Uh, he's been a long time viewer uh, up in Canada. So one of our international shippers. Before I do that, let's do a dad joke. Man. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One really heavy and the other a little lighter. <laughs> That's good. What do sprinters eat before they race? Nothing. They fast. <laughs> Part time. Let's talk about what's going in the build today. Um, okay, so let's talk about what's at the heart of this build, and that is the Ryzen 7 5800X. This is the eight core 16 thread CPU beast. This is a favorite. In fact, this is my 2020 AMD motherboard of the year, the ROG Strix B550F Gaming. Uh, absolutely fantastic, fantastic motherboard. RAM. We're using the, o the uh, Oloy. This is the Warhawk, but because we have red, we're gonna be using red RAM. So we're using red, red RAM. Red, red RAM. Red, red RAM. For storage, we've got uh, the Crucial P2 and my uh, one terabyte uh, SN 550. Um, I know neither one of these have DRAM. Um, and uh, that just means because the way that we're fighting that is we are actually doing what's called a uh, hard drive management solution, which means this is our OS drive, really for OS and, and major applications. And then most of the other stuff goes on the one terabyte. For our AIO, he was, he didn't think he was gonna get any RGB, but he's getting a little bit of extra RGB here. And this is the Kraken X63, AIAIO. And okay, so for power, we're using that Seasonic GM850. Uh, it's a gold power supply from Seasonic. The creme de la creme, the big boy. Here it is, the EVGA RTX 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra. This is a fan-freaking-tastic card. Okay, let's grab our MOBO and let's get started. Let's grab our CPU here. Get this installed real quick. Boom. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little tension arm right here, just pop it up to a 90 degree angle, go it halfway just like that, drop it in, make sure it goes in securely, pop it back down, boom. There it is, CPU installed. Let's install our red, red RAM. Stay close to me. Uh. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna pop this in just like this. There we go. Okay, cool. Next up is M.2. There's that one. Second M.2, and we're good to go now. We're gonna open up this bad boy now, get our M.2s installed. Okay, motherboard is just about done. Let's put our NZXT bracket on. So in order to do that, we're gonna remove this real quick. There's our stuff. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our AM4 stuff real quick. So we're just gonna slot these in. There we go, right there. Okay, this board is now officially ready to go. Okay guys, guess what? It's time to start getting the case prepared. A-I-A-I-O. Okay, so this is all ready, it's all in, which it's good to go, looks great. Let's get our AIO in though, because that's the next step of the build. So this is gonna go just like that. These go on like this. Now we can work on front panel connectors and all that sort of stuff. Let's do the other side. Because now everything's kind of at a point where we can control it. Oh. 
Okay, next up is GPU time. Everybody say GPU time, because it's time to get this GPU out of the box, this beautiful, beautiful GPU. There is our card right there, hefty boy. We do all our peels, because it's all metal. Dual slot, yeah, dual slot. Fit this in there, though. There we go. Oh, look at that. GPU is in. That is a good looking build, if I must say so. I'm just gonna say, that's a good looking build. PSU time, guys. PSU time, and then we turn it on. Okay, so on the back here, the only one I gotta plug in is these two. One SATA. Then we have one more VGA, because we have so many freaking VGA here. Now what we gotta do is we gotta take this bracket off here in the back. It's like funny because I like have all of these wires already and then you shove this thing and you're like, oh my gosh, look at all the new wires I gotta plug in, but they're actually not that many. There we go. Okay. Now let's put the top back on and the side back on and okay, here we go. There it is.